not to say that it wasn't a busy weekend, Coach Rick, but you got to say it was an awesome weekend. Tell me how it felt Sunday knowing that you guys had won the championship and knowing that you know that's a pretty good high going into the middle of February. Yeah, it was a pretty exciting weekend for the kids. You know, uh, uh, the weekend before we'd lost in the finals in a tournament in um, Calgary. So we had a point to prove this weekend. I thought the kids, uh, we reacted well. The first game, we didn't get off to a very good start and lost the game we should have won out shooting a team badly and just didn't finish well. But after that, boys ramped her up. And uh, it was a pretty exciting weekend. When it was all said and done, it was a very exhausted bunch of kids, but a pretty happy bunch of kids. I mean, that's five games in probably like 80 hours, 72 hours. Yeah. Like that's, if you don't love hockey and you don't love good competition, then this isn't for you. Well, that's for sure. That's for sure. <laughs> and, you know, it's, we've been playing a lot of hockey in the last month. Every weekend we've been go, go, go. So uh, it's, it's been a grind, but it's paying off. I'm seeing dividends here right now. The kids are starting to turn it up and it's good because we're getting close to playoffs here. We'll get to playoffs in just a second. So, the, top, the competition, you played the Wheat Kings, you played Leduc, you played Weyburn in the final. What was the best – what team brought out the best in the varsity male team this weekend? Uh, probably the final against Weyburn. Uh, to be honest, the, both Sunday games, the semifinal against Leduc and, and the game against uh, Weyburn in the finals, I thought our kids really uh, turned it up. It was like we were playing for real. Not that we don't always, but – Well, I was just saying – I put I put a lot of pressure on the guys this weekend, and not pressure, but I I wanted something done here. I expected good things, um, and you know, like I said, after losing last weekend in the finals, the kids had a little burn in their saddle to get get some done and prove that we are a championship type team. So uh, the kids bear down, and, and and we really we really grinded those two games out. Both te- both opponents were were good teams. Uh, they challenged us, and uh, but we rose to the occasion, and uh, I was quite pleased quite pleased with the way it all turned out. So Calgary last weekend, Prairie this weekend. Did you guys have to come home in between and reset and then go back out? Yeah, we we came home for three or four days and took off again. And I'm home for two days and I'm leaving again tomorrow morning for Detroit. That's what I was going to say. Like your this schedule for these kids is pretty impressive. And I mean to stay on. I mean they just finished exams at the end of January. Yes. And they had a couple of games at home. Calgary weekend, Prairie weekend. Where are we off to this weekend now? Uh, Detroit for the North American League playoffs. Wow. So, I mean, Detroit, Michigan, that's, uh, yeah. that's not a drive. Or is that a drive? Oh, well, yeah, we're driving a good two oh, days. Driving. <laughs> so, hopefully you're taking the southern route because it's a whole lot safer, yeah. number one. Yeah. And number two, looking at how these boys are finally playing, they're ramping up playing great hockey here in the month of February. Um, is that expected? Is that what you – obviously, that's what you want to see from the team, but – Who's really stepping up their play in the last couple of weeks that's really, you know, made it, okay, this is the, this is the time to shine kind of thing? Yeah, it's, we're, we're peaking. We're, we're, we're close to peaking at the right time here right now, but I still think we've got a little work to do. But, you know, my, my leaders have uh, really took the team on their back, especially this past, past weekend. Uh, Brett Tatar and Kobe Bear, Tynan, Ewart and Devon Bull has really stepped up his game. And those four kids, as well as Curtis Coffin and, you know, uh, the young Hermes boy played very well in goal for me. But my older guys have really, uh, after losing, it, it, they, they were upset. And uh, this weekend was a totally different weekend for those boys. They, they're big, strong, and they totally, uh, they went out and played, controlled the puck and, and played, played like leaders should. And kind of took the rest of the boys on the back and said, let's go, let's get this done. And, and all said and done, that's, that's kind of what happened. So That's a very impressive statement, it's knowing that playoffs are starting in March and they're out in Penticton as always. Yeah. So yep. how many – now, do we have any regular season games left before then? Yeah, uh, when we come back from B- Detroit, I come <laughs> home for three or four days and we're going back to Moose Jaw for – uh, final three games against Prairie, which will be a, a, a good uh, battle at, uh, at the end of the season heading into playoffs. Good team to play heading into playoffs, although Prairie's pretty banged up right now. Got a lot of injuries, but uh, they're they're always tough competition for us, and I have great respect for that organization. So I'm actually happy we are playing them heading into playoffs because um, we'll it'll keep us at the at the pace we need to be at heading into playoffs. So what's Detroit? We're going to land or get there. Sorry, you're going to drive there, get there by Thursday. How many games do we have in Detroit? 
And will this be our last, uh, not exhibition, will this be our last North American League play before we get into CSS playoff action? Yep, yep. This is our wind-up. It's the playoffs for the prep league in, uh, in the state. So it's going to be a good weekend. We could play five to six games again if we if we do what we want to do. And, I'm ex again, I'm expecting to do well. The teams we're all playing against are teams we've had success against. But it's it's a good um, – coming in off a high here, I'm, I'm expecting – Expect, expecting good things. We're we're having a. I gave the kids a day off yesterday. We're gonna have a late specialty teams practice today. Travel for a couple of days and hopefully they rest it up and get back at her again. Did I hear you say you gave the boys the day off? Yes, I did. That's rare. <laughs> uh, you know, coming off lots of times coming off of weekends like that, I'll give them the Monday off. Um, the, the kids gave me everything they had this weekend, and they earned it. Um, I don't. I just don't hand out days off. But when you work hard and, and come and play, and the travel is catching up to us a little bit, and we got a few guys with the flutes really going through the team. So I just felt it was a good time to give them the day off and get some schoolwork done too, catch up and get rejuvenated for today. And like I said, we'll have a light practice today again, just go over a few things and, 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 and get ourselves ready. Because I think we're in a pretty good state right now. We just got to stay mentally focused and can't be happy with what we've done we just got to keep pushing ahead here that's right i mean you can't you know you can never change what you've already done you can always improve what you're going to do and i know rick you've always talked to me about playing your game and making sure your game is set out on the ice when you play these teams in detroit uh do you feel like it's going to be another uh preparation for playoff action or is it a completely different scenario knowing that now that the North American Prep League will be finished after this weekend, that kind of puts the, you know, the finishing touches on that part of the season. Now we can focus on playoffs in Penticton and Prairie. We lost Rick's mic. Give us a sec here, people. We'll see if we can uh, figure out what's going on. We can't do it. Okay. Anyway, we will finish off here. Uh, Coach Rick taking the boys to Detroit, finishing off their North American prep in Detroit, Michigan. They'll be back home for a couple of days, like you said. Then they're heading off to Prairie for three games. We will talk to Coach Rick after that weekend in Prairie Hockey and we'll kind of get them set up for their playoff tilt heading into Penticton for CSS HL action. Rick, I know you can hear me, I hope, and I'm going to send off and say thank you and congratulations on a great weekend and good luck in the Detroit area, and we'll talk to you in a couple of weeks.